Hey G.I. Joe fans, Joe Motion Videos 82 here. It is time for another G.I. Joe toy review. Uh, as you can see, I'm back home and on the mend. Um, back on oxygen, just temporarily, hopefully. Uh, just a very rough week. But enough said about that, I'm feeling better. So I'm going to be doing a double review this week, uh, today and tomorrow. I'll have a review up as well, just to stay on top of October being the strange and unusual month for G.I. Joe. And do I have a very strange action figure for you today? Uh, wow, this guy is... is uh, Nothing like you've seen before in G.I. Joe. Uh, I didn't know he had existed. Um, so I really don't follow the Valor vs. Venom series. Or I didn't then. But um, now I'm starting to pick them up. They are actually pretty cool. Uh, most of them are O-ring figures. Uh, but this guy is awesome. He is the Electric Eel version 1. Version 2 came with a vehicle, but doesn't have this really cool gimmick. So, uh, he hit the, the pegs as a part of Series 12, uh, 20 in 2004. He came in a two-pack with Tunnel Rat. Uh, his original retail price is unknown. Uh, but that was cool with these guys. You either got the, the really small carded figures like these i guess this was like a test run or something i'm i'm not an expert i'm just guessing as i go so this was a donation from a very dear friend of mine they gone uh is his code name uh great action figure storm shadow i did not have him looking forward to actually looking uh, researching more into this i'm not sure if i'll open him or not but um uh, He's probably deserving of a review. So they came in those packs. They came in two packs, which was really cool. Uh, the first time that we saw a multi-pack of G.I. Joe, aside from play sets like the um, Cobra Command headquarters that came with several action figures. Well, I'm figuring they threw those figures in, not only to give you figures that weren't readily available, but to help offset the cost because they gave you a cheap cardboard toy to play with uh, so the first ones that came out were in 87 that was cobra law and slaughter's renegades those were all three packs uh, amendment tomax and zamot were the first um, multi-pack that came out in 85 i, I apologize for that so, um, yeah, I love getting multi-packs. Uh, you know, it's, it's like, for me, it's like a buy one, get one free. And even with the Valor versus Venom line, I purchased one already. It's on its way. But this one was an exclusive. It did say on the pack, buy one, get one free. So when that comes in, I'll be glad to share that with you guys. Uh, so... I am just enthralled with this action figure. He is completely incredible. Uh, he's tremendous. Everything is great about him. Cobra is doing everything they should be doing. It's the best out there. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this magnificent action figure. Seriously, he is pretty cool. Uh, I bought two of them because he's so cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at him. So here he is looking as awesome as can be. His little gimmick came with this backpack. Let me turn the light out here. That if you press the button on the top, you get a neat little effect. I love that. That is why he's called the electric eel. And no, this does not go underwater. It's not watertight, so don't try it. Um, be sure to ask the seller if the batteries work. I had purchased one where the battery case was corroded. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories. First, let's lay him down. He came with these two identical claws, left and right handed. These are made out of a very soft plastic, almost rubber-like. Uh, they just add to that menace of the action figure. They just slip right over his arms on these clips. You can see it gives him those monstrous looking hands. Very nice. As I say that, I drop one. Oh, he came with a futuristic looking laser rifle. Not too bad. Uh, he can hold it in his hand. Or it could be a double-handed as well. And hold it as such. That's not bad either. Let me turn the light on. I apologize, guys. There we go. Uh, he, he came with a uh, trident, which came with the 1990 undertow from uh, the Iron Grenadiers. And, of course, this backpack that lights up. That little Iron Man-looking light in the back. Uh, this does... Um, unscrew back here uh, right at the bottom you can see it takes a, a watch battery be sure to save those batteries if you're going to buy more he is o-ringed I'm not going to go over the articulation uh, but just look at this guy this translucent green plastic very cool he has this all this equipment strapped onto his shoulder uh, I don't have the file card for him, but according to G or to the file card, he was engineered to um, have an electric charge. So he has this body armor here on the front and an air tank on the back. These hoses are non-removable, so if you find them with the hoses off, they are broken. Uh, he has these little fins down here on his legs. I thought they would move out, but they don't. It gives that appearance. They're made out of a soft plastic, and his legs are actually more of a soft plastic, too. Two pouches, two green pouches there on his legs. Just look at that face. Very menacing-looking guy. Uh, that nice little... I don't know if that shows up or not. Try to get... There we go. A little robotic detail there on the back of his head. Just look at that guy. He is so cool. I really dig this action figure. Uh, I, I do recommend that you guys get one for the modern collectors out there. Uh, he's just a, a great addition to your your uh, Cobra dive team honestly uh, he can he was a seal or an eel at one time and they made him an electric eel it means he could be a snow serpent but why do you need an electric snow serpent It'd be cool though right so there you guys have it the electric eel Let's just give you one more good shot of him if anything the downfall are the big shoulder joints that I don't like. You can see that I, I just don't dig those. Uh, he has a swivel arm battle grip, of course. But, yeah, the big shoulder joints are kind of offsetting for me. Offsetting, I meant off-putting. Uh, I do have pictures of how he came packaged and a picture of the file card. So let me pull those up real quick. Yeah, so needless to say, I really like this action figure. He is one of the coolest that uh, had come out.
as well as I have to do is say thank goodness for modern technology or we just would not have the Iron Man eel. I mean, this guy, I, I just can't say enough good about him. Uh, please pick one up. They're relatively cheap, actually, for right now. Keyword being. All right, um, before I get into my next segment of Byron's Gripes, I want to thank all my recent subscribers. You guys are incredible. Thank you very much. It's always humbling to see my numbers go up, and I just don't say that to be saying it. Uh, it. It does make me feel good and lets me know that my content is worthy enough of your subscription. Uh, the Byron's Gripe segment, for those of you just joining, uh, I don't do it to pick on, make fun of. Uh, the sellers on eBay. I only use eBay for its mere reference. It's easy to use. There are several other sites out there that sell GI Joe, but eBay is the one that I just I use because it's it's the most popular, as far as I could determine. I don't quote auction prices because they are fluid. They're always going up. Uh, I will joke around about how high and how ridiculous these prices are. And I do this for entertainment value and also to give you an idea of what to look for when you're you're looking for a, a G.I. Joe, what prices to expect. So here we go. I am not used to having hair. My favorite segment, Byron's Price. Okay, uh, so if you're looking for this guy... You can't find a mint and pack, which is really cool. Uh, you want one that's incomplete, that's completely bare bones, no accessories whatsoever, $9.95. That's relatively cheap given the action figure. Uh, up to $10.95, he comes with some of the accessories. Uh, mint in box, deal of the day, $16.99 $22 because he does come with Tunnel Rat. Okay, keep that in mind. He does come with an extra figure, so you are getting a great deal on these. His file card, a buck fifty. Come on, man. That that is great. But there's a caveat with that. The dude is gouging you in shipping to mail that thing. 75 cents, I think it is 75 or 85 cents to mail. A letter you can just put that file card in an envelope sta slap a stamp on it and mail it this guy is wanting 350 he's gouging on on shipping to offset to make a little more money and that is just not right you do not do that that is my biggest pet peeve do not gouge people on shipping. It's a, a sick trend that's going on. You'll see a really cool vehicle that's selling for $80 to $100, let's say. And the seller, 10 bucks. And then you look at the shipping, $85.95. Really? It does not cost $85 to ship a freaking Havoc. Sorry. I mean, that really gets stuck in my craw, the dishonesty of that. So, complete with Tunnel Rat loose. They're both loose, complete with Tunnel Rat. If you don't care about a mint and pack or file cards, $19.99. Deal of the day on that. Unfortunately, I could not find any of his accessories, or I, I would have... Um, quoted you to prices on those uh, but honestly his backpack functioning I would I would pay ten dollars for that because it is a it is an actual working item uh, it's make sure that it does work so I would pay ten bucks for that his accessories his gun and his harpoon or his harpoon his um trident I wouldn't pay more than a buck ninety-nine. His claws. 
They're a little easy to lose. When I dropped it on my carpet, my carpet is beige. It, it was a little bit hard to see these because they are clear. Um, I, I wouldn't pay more than five or six bucks for the pair. $2.99 for the single. That's just my opinion on that. So there you have it, guys. There is the electric eel. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please give it a like. Um, share this with your friends. Uh, shoot me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, especially thank you for all your well wishes. Uh, I was reading those in a hospital, and it would make me feel good. And this science right here, okay? I turned my heart monitor so I could see it as I was reading all of your get wells and we're pushing for you and all those very kind things you were saying i was watching my heart rate drop because it was releasing endorphins the, the good the phenylethylamine the 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 pleasure hormone it made me feel good my heart rate was dropping my oxygenation went up so it's 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 scientifically scientifically proven it not just by me but by universities that positive influence does is a very healing thing for people so thank you guys very much for that uh, what else was i going to say oh my prize announcement remember when i reach 500 subscribers Got it in a box, ready to go. One of my prizes will be the Pimp Daddy Destro of the Classified series. My daughter hated when I said Pimp, Pimp Daddy. She still, she doesn't like that, that phrase. Um, from the Classified series, very cool action figure. Um... And the runner-up prize is this Python Patrol Asp. Very cool action figure. So I'll be holding two drawings, one for my channel supporters and one for all of my subscribers minus the channel subscribe minus the channel support supporters. So I do this because you guys deserve this. Um, just out of the kindness of my heart, that's just the kind of guy that I am. I'm very kind, very friendly. Uh, I do my best to help everybody. Um, my, my buddy, they gone sent me this, a pair of jump wings and the Special Forces insignia. It says, De Oppresso Liber, to free the oppressed. Uh, my dad was a, a Green Beret, uh, passed away on the 20th of this month, two years ago. Um, so he he was always standing up for the little guy, uh, standing up for the weak, and he instilled that into me. Um, so I'm not doing it saying that you guys are weak, but I want to help you guys. I want to give you something to just make your day feel a little bit brighter. So that's why I do these giveaways. And... Uh, also, to share my collection, man. That's what G.I. Joe is all about. So, we have the PDD and the ASP up for grabs. 500 subscribers want to reach that. I will make that announcement, set the, the ground rules. Um, very simple. You just have to be a subscriber. Channel supporters, they, they at times send things into my channel. Um, they've helped me with... Um, collaborations, um, even helped with uh, my dad's funeral expenses. With the VA didn't cover, we still had to cover. So, um, yeah, so I, I gracefully added those guys as, as supporters. Uh, they deserved it. So anyway, without any further jawing, thank you guys very much for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow for another weird and unusual G.I. Joe. Until then, this is Joe Motion Videos 82 signing off. You guys have a fabulous day. Stay safe out there. Remember the triple S. 
safety, wear your mask, sanitize, wash your hands. Anywhere you go, come home, wash your hands, sanitize throughout the day. If you're grocery shopping, thousands of people are touching this stuff, especially at the toy shows going on, craft fairs and stuff like that, since it's getting cooler. Thousands of people are touching this stuff. It doesn't hurt to wear gloves. And remember, social distance. Keep your six feet. That's the third S. Uh, COVID is not a joke. Um, I'm glad that our president is feeling better. Um, that scared me that he had gotten sick and that his, his, his dear wife had gotten sick too. But um, he got the best medicine out there and he recovered fairly quickly or is in recovery. Uh, we don't know if you will ever fully recover. This when I had it the first time around, my lungs were just, my lungs are shot. They still feel stiff. And he was saying, well, COVID isn't so bad. Um, yeah, Mr. President, COVID is bad. I've held the hand of too many dying patients to, to say that it's okay. So anyway, guys, sorry to get a little macabre on you, but um, that's just a plain and simple truth. So tomorrow, another review. Until then, stay safe. Be kind to everybody, especially be kind to animals. They know nothing but unconditional love. We'll talk to you later. This is Joe Motion Videos 82 signing off. Bye-bye.